Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tie-Dye. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. So welcome to a brand new speed art. This time is going to be of a Mecha Mewtwo that I made in Maya and Textured in Substance Painter. If you guys are looking for all the details as to how I made this, that will be all in the description below my entire pipeline there. But anyways, guys, this was for a project I was doing in my modeling class. And what my professor gave us an assignment to do was, was to create a cybernetic organism. So it was something that was going to be half of a sort of robotic style and something that was half of an organic style. So what I did for this was I decided to tackle Mecha Mewtwo. And for those of you who have seen the very first Pokemon movie, you know that this guy is a total badass. This is someone that I wanted to tackle for quite some time and wanted to do. It was always an idea I had in the back of my head, and this was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and do that. Also, Sun and Moon is coming up next week, so I'm super excited for Pokemon, and this is just like, I needed to do this one. I, I had a few other ideas. I did kind of want to do sort of like a girl who was sort of a robotic, uh, sort of like Terminator-style girl with a DJ Sona head. I had a bunch of different ideas, but anyways, I stuck with this one. I'm very happy with the results. And honestly, this project, as you guys will see, is the perfect example as to why you plan out what you're going to be doing before you dive into Maya. Now, normally what I do is I jot down notes on every single thing that I'm going to do. I dive into sort of a notepad, I grab some pencils and paper, I just sort of lock myself away and I write down exactly how I'm going to do everything in the exact process and then I dive into my workflow. But for this one, I thought I was going to be sort of safer and just sort of put some images up everywhere and have a lot of reference images and dive in that way without sort of writing down my process. And this was honestly a 12 hour project that should have taken me about six or seven hours. As you'll see, I might even cut out a lot of the footage for it, but I actually took so many extra steps and sort of erased a lot of things and went back on a lot of things and adjusted so many different things. Like for example, the feet, first of all, Mewtwo's feet are weird, but it shouldn't have taken me like seven or eight times to get these feet right. Same with the head. The head I tried in so many different ways. I started with the sphere, then I moved on to a cylinder, and I eventually just sort of started with a single polygon and blocked it out that way, as you guys will see, and that worked the best. So there was a bunch of different things that I didn't really plan out, and this is a perfect example as to why you should always plan things out just before you go into things just so you know exactly what you're doing and what the best way to tackle it is that being said i'm super happy with the results the polygon count isn't too high i'll have that in the description below as well i honestly might just smooth this out because overall i'm very happy with it i might change the textures down the line because like i said this was for a modeling class we just got bonus marks if we added some basic textures so i uv'd that up which actually went a lot better than i thought it was considering the shape is so weird and organic um, but i uv'd that up and what i did was i opened it up in substance painters added a very basic sort of skin and shader and some metal pieces to the cyber parts to it and I called it a day there but I might clean this up and put it into a portfolio piece because what I want to do at the end of this year is actually sort of have a demo reel for all the stuff that I've made this year just sort of have my 2016 demo reel sort of have that on hand just to show people uh, what I did this year because I made a lot of awesome things this year that I'm very very proud of a lot of stuff that I haven't even posted on YouTube yet so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that I'm super stoked for that there is one last big project I want to do this year which is the blizzard art contest I sort of want to make a scene for the world of Warcraft style uh, game assets and then hopefully I win that probably not but hopefully I, I get somewhere placed on the leaderboard because they have some pretty awesome prizes in my last video I talked about that I had a link to that in the description so if you guys are curious about that go check it out it is super awesome it's not even due until like the end of January next year or something like that so you have tons of time to enter that but um, I'm just super excited to be working on this stuff I'm having a lot of fun here at college I'm learning a lot of cool stuff and it's awesome just to sort of be focusing on this above everything else and I'm having a great time doing so anyways guys like I said this was about a 12 hour process so I'm not going to be talking over the entire thing even though I compressed as well as I could without it being sort of like crazy crazy fast so I'm just going to play some music for the rest of this video of course all the songs will be in the description below so if you guys want to see those they will be there and anyways guys I'm going to sort of wrap this up before I talk too too long here a like on this video would be amazing leave a comment if you have any questions about this but once again guys my name has been tie-dye hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one see ya
fucking ass Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up in a bar Wish on a star Time to show them who's in charge Call me a shooting star Get 